If you dive in the Sea of Cortez, there are places that have been heavily fished. If you go down diving, you may see a shark. You may see a school of fish, maybe, but it's not what it used to be. Before, in the Sea of Cortez, every day when you went out, you would see birds everywhere, attracted by sardine, followed by dolphins and sharks and tuna. Now we don't see them. The reason is very obvious. There are no fish in the ocean. The silver fishing from fishing industry boats, fishing them before they grow. So everybody's fishing. And we're gonna destroy the ocean. We have to do something because the life of the ocean is amazing. If you look at other places that have industrial fishing right up to the landmass, the first animals to go are the sharks, the big tuna. If you know what you're looking for, you will immediately notice the absence of the big predators. They've all been fished out. This is where the animals thrive, but it's also where the fishermen go to get the fish. In the Gulf of Mexico, the fishing industry started in the 60s, 15 years and everything was gone. Since the appearance of fishing industry in the world's oceans, 50% of the species have vanished. It's easy to go to a place and say, the coral's dead, the fish are gone, the sharks are gone. This is what it looks like, but they don't know what to contrast that against. In the 90s, Mario was an instrumental character in creating a very large marine protected area. It's this big, big buffer zone around the Revy Islands. It's a major convening place for the big animals, for the whales, the sharks, the dolphins, the tuna. And so the playbook was simple. Revy is an instrumental character in creating the biosphere we serve here in Baja and show the world what it means to protect the place. What does it look like? To get to Revy is an adventure on its own. It's such a vast, such a remote part of the ocean. Because four days to get to the archipelago of the Revillagigeros, not an easy place to get to. It's the only piece of land in the middle of the Pacific. It's the largest marine park in North America. In 2017, it was declared a national park. And that gives it what's known as highly and fully marine protection status. When we say highly and fully, it's, it's very ambitious because it's not just creating a large scale reserve, it's making sure that the activities that are happening in this area are completely sustainable, supporting the recovery of these resources. Then you really create a change. Our goal was to essentially go there, get in the water, and take people back a thousand years in time. But I didn't know what to expect. It's dangerous, it's remote, it's wild. It's going to be rough. How deep is it? It starts at 12 meters and it keeps going down. That's a big swell, like big waves breaking. We can go work there today before the swell comes and knock that off. There's so much going on in a place like this. Currents are too strong. The diving is difficult. It's too hard to carry two cameras. You need to grab a piece of rock with your fingers and hang on to a chute. And the nice thing about having an A1 camera is that I can roll 8K video and I can click a button and I can be shooting 50 megapixel stills. It's become the perfect tool for doing these big broad projects. To jump in and right away be greeted by five manta rays with a wingspan of five or six meters, 18 feet wide, and to have them come up to you and just park themselves right on top of your head, a foot above you. What's happened in just five years is the life has rebound, it has come back, and it has come back in a magnificent way. The animals are big, the whales are big, the sharks are big, everything is thriving. It's almost like you go back to the land before time. Frida, yes. everything here is big. This full of life. When you jump in the water in Revy, it is all there, handed to you on a silver platter. Huge manta rays everywhere, big walls of fish, just big, thick numbers of sharks. To see six, 700 pound yellowfin tuna that are fearless, that are coming right up to us on the dive, they're truly one of the most remarkable animals I've ever seen underwater.
Once we created the national park, something really important started to happen. We started seeing a much more fishes in, in the Sea of Cortez. There's something happening. Revilla Gijedo is an example for Mexico. It's a reference that shows that if we create this large-scale marine reserve, it's not just an area that is protecting the species inside the park, but also is helping other areas to recover. Revilla Gijedo became a factory, a natural fish factory. So the circle of life, it's starting again. Spending time in Revi, in the company of wild creatures that are thriving, showing us that if you protect it, the ocean can be restored, left me feeling a lot of hope. When you are in Revi and you have these moments of nature, you are 100% sure that it's like witnessing how nature was before humans. When you protect it, it recovers quickly, and it is just this awesome.